Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have another episode in our Spoiler Spotlight series in which I talk about, well, spoilers and tell you what my thoughts are on them. But before that, just a quick reminder to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and your support means everything to me. And today we're going to be talking about Lobelia Sackville Baggins for 2 colors and 1 black. It's a 2-3 legendary creature, halfling citizen with flash and menace. And when Lobelia Sackville Baggins enters the battlefield, exile target creature card from an opponent's graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn, then create X treasure tokens where X is the exiled card's power. So apologies for my voice today. I am sick once again. I don't know what's going on lately. So yeah, I'm probably going to sound a little bit less enthusiastic than normal, but bear with me. In any case, Lobelia seems like a really fun card. When I first saw this spoiled, I was kind of surprised that it seems a lot more powerful and interesting than a lot of the more high profile cards that we've seen from the Lord of the Rings so far. Flash and Menace is pretty decent, but the real meat is the ability on this. So when it enters the battlefield, it's going to exile a card from an opponent's graveyard that was put there this turn, and then you're going to get a bunch of treasures equal to its power. So there's a few different ways that you can really use this. It's going to be incredibly good for a start in any deck that is looking to play at instant speed a lot, such as Nimrus, and Nimrus this is fantastic because you just get to play it for so cheap and you just get to mess with your opponents. So that's one kind of way this can work really well. If somebody kills something with a removal spell or if somebody attacks with a big creature and another creature blocks and then one of those creatures happens to be big, you're just going to immediately get a huge mana advantage off of this. This can basically often perform quite a bit like Dockside Extortionist. It's obviously not quite as reliable, but when it works, it's granting you huge mana positivity, which is really good. Additionally, exiling a creature from a graveyard, especially one that's likely gonna have high power, which means it was probably going to be a prime reanimation target, can be very good. There are some cards such as Thrilling Encore or Grim Return that actually play around that mechanic, and Thrilling Encore in particular is a very playable card, so this can be a good way to hate on that if you see that card in your meta. But then, of course, you don't have to be that reactive with this. You can be more proactive. Since you're in black, you're probably going to be running a lot of removal spells, so you can combine this with cheap removal such as Pylon in order to remove a card and then exile the card immediately from your opponent's graveyard and get a huge mana advantage. Because it's making treasures as well, it is also going to synergize very well with decks that care about that, so it's going to be really, really good in my Negan deck, for example, which cares about treasures. It's going to be really good in any deck that includes Marionette Master, and there's a lot of those around. But yeah, overall, Overall, I feel like this card is doing a lot of different things. It's actually better in the 99 than as a commander, obviously. But the things that it's doing are all very interesting and very useful, even though it's not the best at doing any of them. It's going to give you a large amount of ramp and some graveyard hate for a relevant card. I think having both of those stable onto a creature with flash makes it very strong, so I'm definitely going to be giving this a try in a few of my decks. And I'm going to test and see if it plays out as well as I think it might, because even a worst Dockside Extortionist is still still a very good card. So yeah, very excited about this one. So there you have it. Those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler. What do you think about this card? Please let me know in the comment section below. I read all comments and respond to all of them too. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like or subscribe. It really helps the channel. And until next time, take care. Woo!